Hey everyone, Jimmy Falco of Spook House Props down here in the shop. Uh, today I want to bring you guys a very special recreation video. Um, recently Sean Clark and Tommy Lee Wallace shared some footage of them recreating the process of how Tommy created the mask for the original Halloween back in 1978. Um, now Tommy was sent out by director John Carpenter to basically create the um, film's villain and get a mask with a blank expression and he came back with two options. He came back with a Don Post um, Emmett Kelly mask and a Don Post Studios 1975 William Shatner Captain Kirk mask. Um, now they modeled both the masks and they chose the William Shatner one. Um, uh, but before they chose that option, uh, Tommy did some modifications to the mask. Um, he cut the eye holes larger. He uh, removed the sideburns and eyebrows. Um, he also spray painted the hair with some streak and tips black uh, hair highlights. Um, and then um, for the iconic white look, he used Krylon Appliance White. Um, now, in the video, Tommy also um, shares some info on how uh, the director of cinematography, Dean Cundy, and his team used a flat matte kind of clear coat to take the shine off the mask. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually take that um, partially converted Captain Kirk mask, as you can see on the far right, bring it outside, spray it that iconic white, um, bring it back inside here, do a little styling of the hair, and see how it comes out. So, um, Part two of this video will be coming soon. Welcome back everybody. This is part two of the video. Uh, you just saw me outside in the coveralls uh, misting the hair with the Krylon streak and tips followed by the um, Krylon appliance white spray paint followed by a matte finish to take off some of the gloss. Um, I brought it back inside. I um, styled the hair a little bit and stuffed it up and um, without any further ado here is um, a 1031 mask um, that has been finished in the exact way the original Michael Myers mask was done back in 1978 by Tommy Lee Wallace, um, just with a can of white spray paint. Uh, I gotta say, it's gotta look like no other. It's just the way the spray paint looks when it's on a latex mask. So I'll shut up and I will drop the curtain here and show you the mask all finished up and I will also do a 360 view here and then I will meet you guys back in the shop.
we've come to the end of our journey here, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Here are the three original masks from the start of the video, uh, from the Emmett Kelly to the uh, William Shatner Captain Kirk, and now the Michael Myers mask that has been painted exactly like the original movie prop done by Tommy Lee Wallace. Uh, I just want to thank everybody out there for all the support, and uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, look for more content coming in the future. Um, a couple new projects on the way and um, message me if you'd like any work done. So hope you guys have a great night and thanks for watching.